Hey guys, it's Nick Ng from Uzumaki Corp Tattoos in Cornwall, Ontario. As you can probably tell by my voice, I'm feeling much better now. Um, I'm here to do uh, another review. This is for another one of Sierra Jordan's books called This Might Sting a Bit. This is the book that's in here. Um, it's actually a really good book. It's mainly to geared towards uh, clients than it is to artists because it's filled with questions and answers, obviously, uh, to stuff that, as it says on the cover, everything your tattoo artist forgot to tell you and you were too afraid to ask. Cause, um, if you're a tattoo virgin, a lot of the times you feel intimidated or you don't ask questions because you feel like it's a stupid question and you don't ask it. But this will answer a lot of the questions for you and if you have any other questions, obviously feel free to ask your artists. Um, we're not really as scary as we look. Um, it's just, I guess the tattoos are intimidating or big beards or some of us are still bikers or whatever. <clears throat> um, it's 358 pages. Um, I think it's about $20 on Amazon. Uh, maybe less than twenty dollars. Um, it's got very easy language, not necessarily dumbed down because there's a lot of stuff in here that is actually the proper terms and such. But it's extremely easy to read. It's got a pretty decent typeface. It's probably average size. Um, it's three hundred fifty-eight pages, but a lot of the pages are like this, where it's just a full page of just an image, or a page of just one little paragraph, like this. That's two pages, and all it is is one paragraph. Um, so it's really smaller than you think it is. It's a pretty easy read. You can probably get through it in four to six hours, depending on how quickly you can read. I think I did it in about five. I like, just finished reading it not long ago. <clears throat> um, the illustrations in it are actually pretty, pretty nice. A lot of them are like... They all... <clears throat> makes sense, like they all are related to what the, is being talked about around them. But some of them are like kind of silly, like this one, the dude's missing a head. There's one where someone's just a rib cage or someone's shaving a sphinx cat with a pair of clippers and stuff like that. But the illustrations are really nice. It's actually kind of cool because this is actually Sarah Jordan's daughter and she's on the front and back and she's covered in tattoos, which I think is super awesome. Um, it covers pretty much any qu random question you could have ever thought of to ask in about the tattoo process, but it's not very in-depth, obviously, because you're not a tattoo artist. You don't need to know, like, specifics, like what frames are made of or whatever. It's mostly, like, little things like the health risks and, how, like, there's a bit on how to take care of it, but it's mostly, like... This is not so much this is how to take care of it, but this is why artists tell you to take care of it certain ways. There is a little bit on machines and stuff, but it's, it's not very in-depth. It's mostly questions for the client, and that they're very straightforward. That's why a lot of this, the, the parts are mostly like a paragraph where it's question, answer, done, which I actually really like. There are some things I, I disagree about in the book, but that's mostly um, personal preference. The, there's a few products that are mentioned, but which are perfectly fine and safe to use in the tattoo industry, but personally I don't use them, but the tattoo industry isn't so much right or wrong. It's a lot of it is personal preference. So it's not necessarily like a, a con for the book that they mention these products because they are industry standard, but I just personally don't use them. Um, this is the first edition. The book was just released not long ago. And honestly, if you own a shop, you're going to have a waiting room. And you can either stuff it with magazines, or you can have this book. Uh, it's going to save you a lot of time, and we all know in this industry, time is money. And if having this book in your, in your waiting room, and every time someone comes to get a tattoo, they read a couple paragraphs or a couple chapters or whatever, that's questions you don't have to answer now. So you spend $20 on this book, and now there's like 100 questions you don't have to answer to your clients. Because while they're sitting there waiting to get their tattoo or waiting for their consult or whatever, they could be reading this book and getting the, the answers to their questions themselves. 
It's honestly an extremely fantastic book. And the illustrations are awesome. And there's even like a few little jokes um, in the book that aren't really necessarily jokes. It's just they're situationally funny. Just certain things. And there's a lot of personal experiences that is that are Sir Jordan's actual personal experiences that he mentions in the book, which is really awesome. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people have a lot of practical knowledge, but they don't actually have any like experience. Like A lot of people will quote books or DVDs, but they really can't say, oh, this one time when I tattooed, this happened. Or whenever I got tattooed, this happened. It's just like, oh, I read this book, and it says to do this, and, you know, it's sort of like that. But there's a lot, like of his personal experiences with whatever, you know, when clients would ask him questions or certain things that they would ask or certain effects from healing or a lot of stuff. Like, there's 11 chapters and it covers a lot of stuff. Like, from, like, you just getting into it, you're getting ready to selecting your artist, finding a shop, and even once, once it's over, healed, and done with it. So it's, it's very, in, it's like an in-depth textbook for clients. Um, and it's really, I, I recommend it. I give it a five stars. It's a fantastic book. I sat in one sitting and just read through it, and it's really good. Some of the pictures are really hilarious, too. So definitely, 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 if you own a shop, or you have someone who wants to get a tattoo in your family, you know, their birthday's coming up, drop 20 bucks on this book, and, like, you want to get a tattoo, here, read this then you can get a tattoo. And then they'll know, they'll be perfectly educated to get their first tattoo. They'll know what kind of questions to ask the artist, they'll know what to look for in the tattoo shop, like an autoclave, um, disposables, barrier protection, paper towels, and all that stuff. They'll know that beforehand. Too many people go to a tattoo shop or a tattoo studio to get their first tattoo or to get any tattoo, and they'll go in, bam, get the tattoo, pay the money, then regret it. If you read this book first, you'll know exactly what to look for, you'll know what questions to ask, and you will not regret your tattoo because you'll be educated and informed and know exactly what you want to get out of it, out of the uh, whole process. And you'll have an amazing piece of art afterwards. If you do actually want to get a more in-depth knowledge as a client, it's not really more geared towards clients, but Sarah Jordan also has a smaller book, but another book that was published before. It's called The Basic Fundamentals of Modern Tattoo. This is also available on Amazon and uh, Tattoo Books Online. It's also available on teachmetattoo.com. And this is actually geared more towards tattoo artists, but it's incredible detail how machines are made out of, why machines are the way they are, how they work, detail about needle groupings, everything. So if you read This Might Sting a bit, and you feel, oh well, I want to know a little bit more in depth about the things that they mentioned, you could pick up The Basic Fundamentals of Modern Tattoo, and you'll even know even more. And then after you read it, if you have a friend or a family member that has an apprenticeship or something, you could give them the book. Or buy it for them and ask to borrow it after they read it. It's a great uh, textbook for an apprenticeship. And they're both amazing books, and I can't wait to get his next book to read it. Um, both of them are very, very good, and definitely, if you own a shop, get this one to sing a bit, because it's an extremely good resource for information for clients. Um, thank you again for watching my video. This is, this is a review for another Sierra Jordan's books. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Check out my website at uctattoos.com, and... See you later, guys.